My name's Shannon Moratti and I've been doing photography for the last 20 odd years. It's been a very expensive hobby of mine, but I'm very fortunate to be able to combine my passion for music and photography by working so closely with Fat Freddy's Drop for the last seven years and following them around the world. So far my Freddy's collection of photos is getting up around 8,000 in total. Being in the trenches at a Freddy's gig uh, is absolutely amazing. No two gigs are alike. And the access that I get depends very much on the location or the venue. Sometimes it is just in the pit in the front of the stage. And in Berlin I got to be on stage with the boys and got to take the most memorable photo of the band in front of the manic Berlin crowd, which was a great moment. The first time I really clicked with the Freddies was back in 2009 with the Boondigger shoot, doing the on-set stills for them. It was a great couple of days here in Wellington. That was just before I went up to Europe and made a point of catching them in Paris and it's just snowballed from there. It's been really great to be able to see the guys in so many different places. I've seen them so many times in New Zealand and it's different every time, but to see them in amongst the European crowds of Paris and Copenhagen and Berlin and the big show being the London Village Underground Blackbird release party. It's just been crazy and so much fun to catch up with the guys and just see how the European crowds just love the guys and adore the music. So what I'm looking for when I'm going to a gig to photograph the boys is capturing those moments. Not necessarily what the crowd's looking at at the time, you know, it may be jet lags, feet on the pedals or Toby and Joe having a quick laugh side of stage and the details, the hats and the shoes that the guys wear. It's all the things that other people don't see. It's a different angle. I definitely have a selection of top shots from the gigs over the years. There's usually one or two that I find from each gig. One of my all-time favorite shots is actually in the Havana during the lunch break of the Boondigger video shoot. There's actually only Moo in shot from the band and all the rest of the, the crew sitting around having lunch and it's just a photo that from the moment I took it, I just absolutely loved it. For the last 18 months I've been building a multi-touch book for the iPad. It's called Do It For The Love Of Music, which is pretty much what I'm doing with taking photos of the guys. I built the book as a way to share my journey that I've had around the world and around New Zealand catching up with the guys. As well as doing the iPad book, I've also been working with the band for the Deluxe Blackbird CD, which has a 60-page booklet in there with many of the photos that I've taken over the years up in Europe and here in New Zealand. As the years have gone on, I've got a lot more access backstage and capturing the guys, having barbecues, going out, diving for power. Those moments where they're uh, hanging out with their family, which with the Freddies is a pretty big family. And I'm actually really happy to feel like I'm a part of it. I can't remember the first time I heard their music, but I just loved it. And I still listen to the Matterhorn live album all the time. Having met the guys and gotten to know them, they're just ordinary, really nice, down-to-earth guys who just love what they do. It's nice when you see a band that is going on a journey and they're still exploring new music and old music and making music that I just love. <laughs>